Greetings programs. I'm Young Napoleon and I want to welcome you back to my Victoria 3 Let's Play series. This is episode 74 of a Sweden learning to play run with no mods and no DLC because there isn't any. In the last episode we decided to go ahead and get ourselves entangled in a European affair uh, because we're part of Europe. Germany has been a good trade partner for the majority of this game, so we answered their call with the offer of an obligation. Uh, we're getting close to the war kicking off. Uh, something tells me they are not going to back down, so we are going to... Yeah, they're confident going to back down. They've got 589 mobilized battalions. We need to start mobilizing what little army we have. So getting used to shortcuts. Alt 4 opens up the military tab. I recall last time we don't have any generals. So the first thing we need to do is get one up here in the Baltic. where We've got 47 units. 20% offense, 100% surprise maneuver chance, but he's an alcoholic. Just that lowers his... Oh, morale damage. That's not good. It's an artillery commander. Not terribly good. He's charismatic which gives some morale recovery surveyor celebrity commander and an artillery commander experienced offensive manner Minus 10% morale damage. Well, okay, I'm not taking more morale, I'm just dealing less, evidently. Petite bourgeoisie or armed forces. And he can handle more units. Let's go ahead and recruit him. And then... That's not what I wanted to do. I want to... Promote him. I've got plenty of bureaucracy now. That'll let him hold more units. Good. Okay, he can hold all 47. And we will go ahead and mobilize this dude. This is a really big front. Let's set him to defend which which one of these do we want to do? Let's set him to defend that front. We're not going to do a whole lot of advancing. We're going to let Germany do the heavy lifting here, but we are going to commit some guys to it. Uh, and I think that's, well, we should go ahead and pick up some more. Let's see, recruit generals. What's our next biggest one? Looks like Congo. Hmm. He looks different. Is that the same guy? Uh, so we can either go with the alcoholic romantic or the cruel defensive strategist. Yeah. I really don't like the optics of putting a cruel commander in charge of an African um, 
headquarters. All right, so we will recruit this guy from the Congo. And then for Niger, innovative, explorer. Okay, we'll go with those two for now. Those are my big ones. And then let's go ahead and get them mobilized as well, I think. Oh, do we have any other fronts that we need to be concerned with? I don't think so. Okay. Mobilize you, defend. Is it the Western, the Westphalia Pomerania front or the Westphalia Pomerania front? Okay. There and then. Got one more in Nitro. Here we go. Okay, so we've got a sizable portion, sizable part of our army mobilizing to defend that front. Wow. I might have picked the losing horse here. But they're the only one that tried to sway me, so... Oh, something happened. Oh, it ran out of room. That's what happened. Oh, let's... There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and since we got something major going on here, we'll ignore all these others. Gonna be interesting. I hope. I hope it's interesting. War with revolutionary Germany has broken out. Two arms. Automatic machine guns completed. Oh, nice. Ah, oh, too bad. Okay, what is this? Germany and wishes to enter a defensive pact with us. Accept that. We got an obligation from Germany. Norway supports Sweden. Subjugation refute. What's going on here? Oh, I see. Okay. Obligation from Germany. Norway is now supporting Sweden as unification candidate for Scandinavia. Ooh, okay, so let's see. Cultures, nation formation, Scandinavia. I don't actually have to get them to in my... I don't actually have to own them, I just have to get them to support me. Oh, nice. Okay, okay, that's that's good to know. We control eight of 15 Scandinavian state regions. So if we could just get Finland or Denmark to like us. They still won't change to our customs union. Mostly because of that base reluctance right there. How am I supposed to get up that high? I just need to have... Well, look, the 
difference in GDP is only giving me three points towards that score. The attitude and the relations are helping. I need to get my customs union. All right, fine. Okay. Denmark. They are hostile. Why are they hostile? Hostile relations, natural enemy, militarily threatening. Fine. Looks like Denmark is not going to be... They're in a personal union with Russia. Okay. Whatever. The devil's paintbrush, huh? General Karl Goran back. Let's see. So either he gets machine gun expert for two years. Uh, okay. What does machine gun expert do? Just 10% defense. Okay. Or he become, he gets the trait stalwart defender. And that's permanent. Let's take that. Okay. I guess that was the, the machine gun thing. Uh, it looks like North Germany or the revolutionary Germany is doing a little bit better on the war support side of things. Looks like they'll get here in a little while. Rubber has been discovered. I think once this war is over, because you can see that's a massive drain on the economy. Once this war is over, I think we'll start a good shortage in barracks. Peace treaty, okay. But are we short? Shortage of artillery. We're building we're building stuff here as fast as we can. Yeah. The war kicked off just a little bit sooner than I was hoping for. Yeah, they took that one region pretty quick. What's going on here? Oh, no, they didn't take it. It's They're working on it. Okay. Okay, looks like I've got all of my troops here now. Is Germany going to do anything? Okay, yeah, allies. There we go. Italy has 36 battalions. Germany has 150. is I'm trying to like the color's red so that makes you think it's bad right maybe it's bad for the attackers maybe the color is related to the attacker i don't know but they're not doing good let's see none of those guys are mine i think your ally germany was victorious Coal depleted in Western Australia. That's nice. Unproductive trade routes can support more declared interests. Ammunition, artillery, and small arms. Government goods, oil, of course. Oh, I wonder if I can start. Can I import oil yet? From Quebec? I can't. Okay, good. That's only going to give me one lame. Ten from France.
one from South Australia. Yeah, it looks like France immediately slaps a tariff on there. I don't think this is going to go well, guys. We don't lose a whole lot of troops from this. Uh, yep, it does not look. Do I have any more troops that I can admit? Indonesia's got six, Senegal's got six. Nothing under construction. Okay. Uh, artillery is still expensive. Let's get some imported real quick. Yeah, from America for now. Uh, and then we'll work on building our own. Which one? I think it was the one in Scania. Scania. That was producing more of my artillery, right? Yeah, so let's go ahead and expand them. Uh, yeah, they canceled their import route, probably because it got really expensive on my end, because I'm using so much. Paper, oil, and glass. Oh. Yeah, I still don't know what to do with all of those, whether that means I need to cancel them or not. Trade routes need convoys. All right. Build another port level there, and let's build another port level here. Doesn't look like anyone's making any progress. Yeah, none of their allies are contributing a whole lot. Italy's only sending 36. The Ottomans haven't sent any. Probably because they don't have a way of getting there? Italy has 18. The Ottoman Empire has 88. Oh, I see. They have sent some over there. Okay. Oops, I hit the F1 button again, thinking it would close that. All right, what do we still need to address here? High tensions, of course, as always. Unused construction, that's right. Uh, I wonder... Can I do anything with my navy? Uh, oops. Let's see. We've got a tactful convoy raider, expert naval commander from the industrialists. I like that. All right, charismatic opium addict, who is an experienced diplomat and a popular commander. And we'll go with Martin. Ekin man. Okay, and then let's select them. Is there a escort convoys, raid convoys, naval invasion? Ah, oh, that would have been fine. I should have done that. Nah. Uh, instead, we will raid convoys. 
also supply networks right there. Yeah, let's send them out here just to see what happens. We are learning the game. I don't want to change any um, analytical philosophy, any of my uh, army things right now because that will uh, like army things. You know, in the in the buildings. When you go to here, I don't want to change any of these because there's a penalty for like a year. Um, although, gosh, man. I might... Should I pull up some conscripts? I don't even know where my conscripts are. Oh, okay, I see. Um, Alright, so yeah, I don't want to change those because there's a penalty for like a year. Now we're going to call it here for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed that as much as I have. If you have, please be sure to do all that YouTube stuff. As always, I would take it as a kindness. And always remember, guys, sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. Hopefully we're doing more winning than learning, but we'll take the learning as well. Because then that leads to more winning. I'll see you guys next time.